All right, BBPN. And guess, of course. Yeah, I had to finish off that last one there. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Continuing on, as promised here, Season 9. Due to the fun technical difficulties of yesterday day. But, Gens, thank you for your support in there. I did see one of you there. What slipped a Mickey Finn in there? Or at least something to the bar fridge there. So we're going to go out there. And we're going to see what disaster lies in store now. Costal Ed back at job. Yeah, yeah, he gets well paid for this job. Really does. That's what you get for being firm but fair. Alright, different matchup for you here. Very different matchup here yeah, between two of the top tier coaches here around this neighborhood. Well, at least that's what they that, that's what their advertisement says all the time. We're absolutely the best. Right. Yeah, well, they've got talent somewhere. I understand it's in their pinky finger. But here we go. High Elves versus Dwarves. What a classic matchup this can be in here. And we all know how this is going to basically break down. As the Dwarves go, hopefully literally. Lots of breaking. Dwarves, of course, here. All the tackle and hitting and punching you ever need there. And, you know, armor straight from hell. But High Elves, a bit more stronger armored than normal here. And they do have the advantage of a bit better build back speed. And, of course, the AG4, which we all know never fails. He said sarcastically there. No reserves either side. High Elves are sitting on two loners here for this game. But they do have the power of kick. And of course you have the power of supporters. And here we go. One more time. Over the top we go here. And his name is Panda. Well, I can see whose side you're all on here. And it's not the Dwarves. <laughs> it's an easy touchback though. And that does save the beans of the dwarves here. Oh, what the hell is he doing? He gave it to a light dwarf. This is madness, so I tell you. Absolutely bloody madness. What's that? Get your finger out of that bunghole. All right, well, the dwarves have a plan. I didn't say it was a good one, but they've got a plan, and they're going to try and stick with it. You know how dwarves are? Stop it as old get-go there. You know, you shave one beard. Just one, and they started, and they held a grudge against you for thousands of years. All right, dwarves, as you can see here, quickly little redeployment here, quick little examination here. Oh, the drunken mayhem here! Three rerolls and the apothecary. High elves, of course, coming in with a lot of elven wine, some fanatical devotion to their fandom here on the supporter bench, and of course, an apothecary. <laughs> like I said, they're coming in with two loners. High Elves have always been more the tricky teams in there to play in there. There's a reason they are Tier 2 and not Tier 1 like most Elven teams. It's the expense of the players, and there's nothing bone-shakingly spectacular about them unless they start developing skills. And even then, it's kind of a unice quoi, you know? But in tournament play, absolutely, completely understand why they are only Tier 2. Trust me, I've tried them the NAF. They are hard to win with. Well, you, you can get close, but if Knuckles a twat, Knuckles a twat. It's it's just that simple, lad. All right, here we go. High Elves, as you can see here, just adjusted here. They didn't really do anything good there. Brilliant! Yeah, all right, but the Dwarves get right back into the punching. Take this, you bastard! Because that's what Dwarves do. Now, there's no finesse being shown by the Dwarves either. It's just a punch-up. Now, they like to get some removals before they go and advance the Calico down the field here. Typical Dwarven strategy here. And they are trying to force the issue. And they're picking on the loners. There's nothing wrong with picking on the loners. Because remember, say it with me lads. Loners' lives don't matter. <laughs> well, it's true, they don't. It's not like they're real human beings or anything like that. In this case, doubly so. They're elves. Alright, well, moving forward here. Well, as you can see, this is called the Fisting Formation. You can recognize it because, well, it looks like a fist. <laughs> it, it pretty much is. <sighs> well, let's see what the High Elves actually want to do about this. Well, the High Elves have decided, nope, they're not playing this game. They're not playing this game at all. Shenanigans! 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 
I know, I'd be screaming shenanigans too here, but yeah, it's exactly what the high elves are doing. Hey, nope, they're not even going to play this game. They're just going to keep running backwards here and force the dwarves to have to go and exhaust themselves moving forward here. Which is going to be yanking the hell out of them here. But we've seen this strategy used successfully before here. You know, we've seen elves do this before. And they've done it brilliantly. We even saw that earlier this season against the ball things, not just the Chorf team, but we've seen that against the Lizard team. Yep, the elves just ran the other way and just refused to play the game the other team's way. And there's nothing wrong with the strategy here. It always comes down to how good is your opponent really? Does your opponent now readjust the strategy to deal with this? And that's an interesting question we're about to find out here. Yes, hello, welcome on board. Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah, oh god, it is this game. And you'll wonder why it's on the broadcast there, son. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not spoiling it for them there. They all get to watch you. I did point out your rather clever fisting formation you had there. Typical dwarves, isn't it there? And now he's, he's forming from fisting to iron gauntlet formation there. And he's hoping this will actually work. No, I got no guarantee that's gonna work. Well, like I said, you gotta watch out. I'm TNT. I'm Dino Mate! So you say, push me, push you here. And now, this is where now the High Elves draw the line in the greens. And they better pay for fixing it later, because I'm not pushing that up there. There we go. One die block does get the hit, gets a nice little cheeky little punch down here. As you can see, the Dwarves impressive amount of guard by this point of the season here. And you can see where the develops has been going here. But the High Elves, like I said, they're looking at the situation here and they're going to really do their best to force the Dwarves to play their game. It's like reindeer games. You play your son, I'll play mine. I, I, never mind, you know. It, it's like when the Vikings invade and they go and declare something else entirely. Oh, you knew this joke. Well, it's a nice shape. That's why it still works. All right, well, so much for that idea. You fool! Yeah, well, that's all right. It's turn four here. Dwarf still hammering down the field. Big punch to the loner. Oh, he gets a nice hit, but that's all he gets there. Show us a target. It's a stun. Well, it's strength four. Does the punch. Now the dwarves are going to try and make something happen. Boom! Take that, you sod. Well, he took it all right. Took it and liked it, unfortunately. He's got a smile on his face. That's rather disturbing, actually. Dwarves move up the field here. They are now starting the great swing here. And now the Dwarves, looking at what's happening here, they're going to take all eight turns to score. That's the plan now. They're now into generally scoring position, but remember, they didn't give the ball the runner, they gave it to a long bit. So he basically has to be within range, you know, four, and a nice little smooth range here. <laughs> smooth as a baby's bottom indeed. Exactly here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I can hear that Lord Paxton here is going, Bring on Griff! Griff the Hammer! Griff! Exactly. And meanwhile, here we go. High Elves, another readjustment here. That's, like I said, you can see it here, they're slowly but very gradually conceding the space there. I know, but this is the proof. We're going to see how a real dwarf plays dwarves. Yeah, we've been seeing what's been happening to the other dwarf coach here. You know, famous last words, eh, Wolf? Ah, there it is! The miracle play! It's a diving tickle! Nicely done! I broke your stupid crap, moron! Absolutely brilliant! Yeah, oops! Yeah, the dwarf has diving tickle! Yeah, he's got the skill! Absolutely brilliant in the hands of this coach here! And it does its job! AG4, he doesn't care! And now the dwarves, well... They've got an opportunity to do more beatings. They've got a couple more of them trapped here. Of course, the, you know, are we going to see fouling here? Well, we're hopeful. Boy, are we ever helpful. There we go. Solid it. Oh, look at this. AG5. Oh, I tell you, he's glowing. Yeah, he's absolutely going to glow. He needs to be shined. And by shined, I mean fouled. All right. See, this has always been the other thing here. We've always talked about this. The only flaw for the Elven catches, they don't start with dodge. It's their one flaw. However, trade-off, they are strength three. That's a hell of a trade-off, isn't it, there? You've got a chip on your shoulder. Mm, yes, and a bit of fish, too. All right, Hiles, another quick readjustment here. I think they're going to fall victim to the same play twice here. I know! Why on earth? Why, why is the fall allowing a blodging, diving tackle 
you know, dwarf. Raisins, genetics, and we don't ask who he slept with at the brothel. We really don't judge. We just know he uh, prefers people with uh, pointier ears, if you know what I mean. All right, here we go. Slip, slide, slip away here. Easy dive away here. See, this time he rolled high enough. Diving ticket, ticket. What? No! What? No! No! Oh, no! scream all you want there. That one was just a straight out one and he failed to dodge. And there it is, the second one. Down he goes. Nicely done. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! The only problem is, yet despite all that, it's not doing any injuries. Hi, Elves, as you can see, there's nothing there. It's a remarkably, well, for, for this game, clean game. Dwarves, turn six here, turn the corner. They're gonna just keep, they're gonna keep hammering away until something breaks. Yeah, they're hoping. You know, they got a, they got 11 things they like to test this theory on. Big punch, big hit, big stun. Oh, that is me, drink. Get in my belly! Well, he'd love to get in your belly there, but I don't think he fits. Oh, is that what you slowly chew? What are you doing? Yep, the dwarves attempt to pass action and... Oh, no. We must defeat the dwarves. Ugh, we are the dwarves. Oh. oh, lordy, yep, the dwarves don't know what they just did. They attempted a pass action. And they flubbed the ball right into the High Elves. High Elves suddenly, well, there's a ball. That wasn't in the script, evidently. Well, now they have to get it and go score. They didn't plan for this. I don't think anyone plans for that. What was he thinking? Well, apparently not much there. Either that was one hell of a good bottle of scotch he suddenly had acquired. And he just chugged in two seconds. There we go. High Elves absolutely not ignoring the flummery right there. They get the Calico. That was easy. And there we go. Turns the corner. He's off and running. Does he go for the cheesy cheese pollution? Nope. He's going to go for the GFI here. He's going to go for another GFI. He's going to make it nap. He's gonna just going to hang on to the ball. That is a perfect plan there. Oh, dear. Poor dwarves. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, evidently he does at this point here. Yeah, the dwarf coach is absolutely beside himself with probably drunk and debauchery, but that's beside the point there. He's just looking at this. Oh! Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. All oh, the elves love that one. Double one. The elven cheerleaders absolutely celebrate that one there. And here we are, dead seven. And there go the elves, full speed ahead, down the field. Oh! <laughs> Your pain shall be legendary. Oh, now he's recovered. Run, bitch! Run! Yeah, he's recovered all right. That could have been painful. Lucky he had that one last reroll. That would have been embarrassing at that point there. All right. Kyle's redeploy the team here. <laughs> Just to cover up for that little mistake. Yep. <laughs> Memo to yourself, next time, move those players before moving him. Next time, Gadget, next time. You learnt that mistake the hard way there. All right, punching, blocking, nothing exciting going on down there. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. Well, he's hitting someone there, but he's hitting the dwarves with the painful memories right now. That's close to the lower cockles. We're not sure. Someone open up a dwarf and do some operations and check that for me. Grimwald, stat! Oh, wait, that's Dr. Helix's thing. Anyway, here we go. Solid punch, two dice. Gets the hit here. And here we are sitting on turn, eh? And we still haven't even seen let alone a KO. What are they making this elven armor with? It's not LG, that's for sure. It sure is a take. But whatever this under armor is, it's bloody impressive. There we go. Push me, push you. Are you sure they did swap armor is the question. Yeah, absolutely at this point here. Subcockle reason? We're not sure. Absolutely. Yeah, everyone paid for a good mangling. Oh, it's made of chorf skin, is it? Yeah, okay. Ah, there's another fail. This battle is over. Would you like to try again there, Medical? Yes, he does. Well, at least he got a mark. And now he's going to do what dwarves do best. Kill something. That is the plan. There we go. Solid it. Takes him down. Got him. Locked and loaded. 
Unfortunately, all he gets is a stun for all that bloody effort. Oh, well, it's time to run this one in there. It's time for the score. And they're on the board. 1-0. And there's your halftime score. We are at 1-0 for the High Elves. This halftime, of course, will be brought to you by Guiltless Fouling Drew. Never feel bad about it, lads. It's just a war dancer. Guiltless Fouling Drew. Oh, yeah. High Elves cannot believe they got away with that there. And mind you, I think they're going to be investigating that Dwarf's bank account there. What was he thinking? Well, High Elves now on the offense for this one here. And they're up 1-0. From a surprising little gimme there. As you can see there, no damage whatsoever to either firm. There we go. Solid kick down the field. And it's time to turn on the sun laps. Because that is what we need here. Absolutely. Well, maybe that's going to do something good here. Or maybe not. Ah, uh, we'll see. It's all going to come down to, can the Dwarves score? Because if the Dwarves or any other team, well, then again, even with the High Elves score, this can really mess up either firm. It all's going to come down to whoever scores, Sweltering Heat might just decide the game right there. All right, big punch, big hit right there. Takes the Dwarf down. He's fine. I know, Sweltering Heat is the one event that can utterly mess up any firm, and there's nothing you can do about it. Fun fact, originally the Amazons and the Lizards were immune to sweltering heat. I'm serious, they were immune to it. You could get it sweltering heat, did not affect those two firms. Of course, apparently also the fun fact did, the Norse used to be not affected by, you know, Blizzard. They could ignore the effects of it any day. That's another useless fact for you there, from someone who's played this game way too bloody long. <laughs> There's a thing. Ah, yes, I remember when it used to be played with cardboard. That dates me lovely there. All right. Well, that's why you all tune in there. You get a little bit of history with every game. And hopefully a good sort of fisting. I know. Phrasing. <laughs> all right. Well, the dwarves. Caution seems to be the, the declare word right now. It's it's hard not to, not to think that this is the idea and this is the way here. They need something to go wrong. They're hoping something goes wrong. They really do at this point here because they've got to figure out a way here. Yeah, this is the way. All right. Well, at least they think that's the way. Gotta go. Me too. All right. Well, look what they're going to do here. Yeah, high elves. See, they take a look at this, and they know what they have to do here. This is where the high elves absolutely have to pour it on and go for a quick score. They want this to be a quick turnaround, because 2-0, sweltering heat, 100% in the high elves' favor at this point here. All right, high elves here. Well, they've picked a side... And this is where they're going to go. This is the way. And let's hope mistakes aren't made. Or, or let's actually hope mistakes are made here. Because, you know, I know what you all tune in for. Pain. Lots and lots of pain. Oh, he's already getting a cage set up here. I, I didn't know it was that. It, it, it was November. Never mind. Okay, that's what I got told anyway. All right, easy dodges. I can see the high elves do exactly what high elves do. They run away. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You do? Somebody explain it to the rest of them out there. All right, there we go. Dwarves redeploying here. They'd like to do a bit of fisticuffs and a little bit of damage. Big punch. Still nothing there. But now you can see where he's focusing his effort. He wants this one dead. Oh, well, there's a block. Hello. Goodbye. And he's still alive. Where's me drink? I don't know where the drink is. Yeah, well, we're all hoping fun's coming soon enough there. Yeah, I know one sport is going, eh, trust me, you're here at the right time. Fungus, fungus time? Yeah, maybe it is. Pompeius Cadius? Oh, that's a word too. See, there's a bit of smartness right here. He's keeping the one runner back here as a free safety, just in case. I don't know what in case of what here. Yeah, he's really hopeful the Calico somehow comes back. All right, easy dodge there. Man, well, there's a... Well, he re-rolls it. It works. 
I knocks them down there. Ultimate fatality. Oh, that's an exaggeration. I've ever heard one. Uh, yeah, there you go. High elves full speed ahead. They're going all out here. Makes the easy dodge. No problem. 85. Nothing to worry about whatsoever here. And meanwhile, the rest of the high elves re-maneuvering, as you can see here. All right, here we go. Are we going to go for the howitzer? Remember, there's the handoff. Easy catch. Nothing can go wrong in here. And now here we go, running down the sidelines. Are oh, we going to go for the easy cheese? Please shouldn't. Yes, we are. There's the throw. And there's the easy catch. See? Oh, yes! And there, of course, there's the loner having his problems because now the dwarves want to do a little bit of power back right now. Move your arse. Yeah, they're really helping to move something all right here. Problem is, high elves are threatening to get it up to the nil here. How are the dwarves going to solve this one? Well, they're trying to solve it the old-fashioned way here. That's not working for the firm. They're going to have to go and figure out something else. Well, here he is. The one, the man, the legend, the dwarf. It's a skull. Try that again, Sunshine. Well, it's a push. That's about all you can do there. Come on, Shorty. On our way. Uh, that's about the best he can do. That's all he gets out of that one there. And right now, the broadcast booth just pumping their hearts, trying to figure out, will they save this one? There we go, two dice there. Push me, push you. Oh boy, this point here, the Slayer is just so frustrated. Can't, he can't even surf him. Block on block, nothing is going right here. Cool fist, and there it is. There it is. Oh. Fire! Uh, he's calling for fire. He's calling for fire. He says there's a fire. Unfortunately, it's a burning gerbil. And there it is. One in nine. Rerolled right back into a one in nine. Yeah! And suddenly the elves get nowhere. Double one in nine. And the ball goes nowhere. Dwarves, they look at the script. They get another turn. I get another turn. You get another turn. Oh, the dwarves aren't wasting this one here. Here they go. Witness your doom! I keep hearing that voice behind me. Yeah, there we go. Big punch. Takes the lad down on the front here. Dwarves are just waiting. They're cocked and loaded. Or is that loaded and cocked? I don't know. You tell me. Full speed ahead. It's going in here. Makes the GFI. I said makes the GFI. We must defeat the dwarves. Ugh, we are the dwarves. There you go! He got him that time! He got him! This is my boomstick! Ah, finally! Dwarves do get the takedown! Took a reroll! And finally! Woohoo! He finally gets the surf! He finally gets the surf! I shot the sheriff and the deputy and your wee doggy too! Uh, unfortunately, you, the supporters, have been laughing so bloody hard you forgot to kill him! Oh, shame! Shame on you all. All right, there we go. Solid hit into the kicker. Takes him down. One die. I remember when kicker used to be a positional player, not just a you know, skill. Well, maybe someday that will change. All right, push me, push you. As you can see here, High Elves desperately trying to rescue the situation. And that's not working. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Well, he's got no faith because he's got no rerolls left here. Dwarves, just the one. That might be all they need here. Now the dwarves on the epic double one in nine here are making a complete and utter mockery of the game. And isn't this delightful? Oh, here we go. Oh, he sees it. He's going to go for the big surf. Hello, son. Would you like to meet a fist? It's an old friend of mine. It's a gift that just keeps on giving and giving and giving. <laughs> Burning, looting, bombing, shooting. I don't know what is it with you lads out there. Stop being merciful. The elves. Oh god, now he's going to go for the power surf. And up, nope, just takes him down. He hears the scream. And he got him. And that's how baby dwarves are made. Ah! Yeah, that was a horrifying thought. Hey, the runner's got the ball. And there's too many bodies in the way. He hasn't thought this one through too well. Yep, he's absolutely not thought this one through. Now you're not throwing it this time, are you? Well, he's learnt the lesson from the other player. Dwarves might have to. There's only four more turns left in this drive. All right, dwarves quickly repositioned here. They are fighting to save this game somehow, some way, someday. All right, big punch here on the front line here. Well, the remaining high elves, they could definitely take care of this here, but now it's all good about risk is the business. Are they going to make a risk here? They are up 1-0. 
all they got to do is slow the dwarfs down. Seriously, that's all they've got to do is slow them down. But that means they're going to have to start mark up a couple of dwarves just to slow the drive down. Because as you saw, the you know, it might not be brutal, but those two removals, that's two mission players. Dwarves marching back down the field on the way going. Yay! <laughs> oh, you're so excited, aren't you? All right, Dwarves still marching down the field here. Turn 14. They're fighting hard for the tie. Two dice. Push me, push you. Oh, all right. Okay, lads. Third's the charm. Can't you kill it this time? For Cosmodan! Oh. Sigh. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Is it the squig sandwiches? Are they just too are they just too much mints? Ah, uh, sorry. Oh well, runner. Absolutely no fear. It is all right. Well, he's looking at the turns. It's not like he really has a choice, does he? Yeah. Full Bill Bexley speed as fast as he can. Little legs can go. Don't trip on your beard, son. No, really, don't trip. <laughs> I know he's young and inexperienced. He's only 83. But you know what? You, you take what you can get here. Here we go. Solid punch. Takes the loader down, and meanwhile, Ella Dwarf, well, yeah, hey, he's going to run after them. Makes all the GFIs. Nicely done. Hello. Yeah, hello indeed. Well, this is it. The Elves. Two red dice. It's a push. Don't worry. It's not a bad one, because it forces the player back. It's a nice try, though. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, it might be all no. Yeah, but look at this. Elves. Absolute 100% scrum. Like I just said earlier, this is what the elves have to do. They've got to keep the dwarves preoccupied while keeping the screen up to slow them down. And there it is, the AG4. That's what you were looking for. Kill him, do it! Shoot him! I know! Well, a bit of a surprise, the AG4 finally fails! He fails it well, you knew he was going to fail. Big punch right there. And now the rest of the dwarf third, they hate two bits, turn 15. The runner has to get about here. He can't be short. Oh, wait. It's a dwarf. Too late. And the dwarf's moving along here. A couple more punches. Yeah, now you see a bit of cleverness here. And he's completely flummoxed it. He was looking for the chain push. And he's utterly failed it. Oh, well. Three dice. Gets the punch. Gets the takedown there. Bang! Modern combat! Yeah, but now here's going to be the problem. Where the fuck's the runner going? There's only one spot he can go, it's down here. He's gonna go full potato. Or or, or, or or turnip or whatever you want. Whatever his passion fruit is, he is on his way. Gotta go. Me too. Yeah, that is everything he's got there. Yeah, he's as fast as little stops can take him. And now the rest of the dwarves have to set up a loose screen. And there's no guarantee this is gonna work. Oh, you're really taking a chance here, lad. You're really taking a chance here. It makes the one GFI you really need to make there. He has managed to get the screen up, and that is the best position you've ever seen of Divey Tickle, right there. Because, my God, does it actually work. That sounds like a terrible idea. How do I do it? Yeah, how's he do it? Well, Dwarven Spite had an interesting yeah, relationship down at the brothel. Ask my sister. Yeah, and there we go. Dwarves. Fighting their way down the field here on turn 16. Bang! For Iron Force! Oh, good lord, it's actually a KO. They finally broke something. They finally did. All right, go, 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 go. And he makes the GFI, and we've got ourselves a tie game. Boy, who knew that game was going to turn around like that? It did. It bloody ever there. Ah, what a, what a griffing that ever was there. There it is. Your final score. The Dwarves and High Elves find a way to tie. They found a way. 1-1 one, one tie. And yeah, you can see it is with the High Elves. A double 1-9 was what finally did it. 
What a hell of a fight back there, but that's why you tune in the broadcast there, because might not have been enough violence, but it certainly was entertaining. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your support there. It's time for me to sign out there. I will see you all same bloody time tomorrow there. Tune in. We'll see what fun and mayhem and festivities we have for you all there. Nuffle. Bless your dice. <laughs>